What is going on? Charles Botenston here. Today we, uh, we wanted to discuss something that I've talked about many times. Habits, change, why it's hard, why it's not hard, why you're not doing it, why other people are doing it, why people are more successful, why, why some people are just, they, they, they're trying everything and they just can't get the body or the money or the girl or the job or the career or the development or the progress they want in whatever area they whatever area they want. So this is the thing. We've talked about habits, okay? We don't need to talk about habits anymore. We we actually need to discuss. We we need to roll it back and just be a little bit more factually clear, hard facts where you are and where you want to go. So you guys already know. 2016 rolls around. I had energy, I had enthusiasm, I thought I had my health correct, except I was looking at other people and I was like, ah, they actually, that's more inspirational. They had a good body, they were fun, they were enthusiastic, they, they just exuded what I wanted. So I said, you know what, let's get this whole health thing handled. So I started reading into books, I started reading into what I should eat, what I should put, deodorant, toothpaste, hair products, all the things, even, even taking your clothes to the cleaners. And I started thinking, wow, there's a lot of chemicals and things. I started reading about sleep. Holy shit, this is something I never actually thought about. I just thought I was just naturally tired. Didn't matter about what time I went to bed, what time I, I woke up. There's a circadian rhythm. What are they talking about? There's, there's blue light during most of the day and then it goes to orange light and your body actually has photoreceptors about this. Huh, that's interesting. And it actually matters how much water you drink during the day. I took all of 2017 to get that handled. It took a while. And the reason being is that I wasn't actually being honest with myself. All my whole life, I was gonna say 2016, but my whole life I was just saying, this is how it is. This is how it is. And then I would use excuses like, well, my friends are going out, I should go out. Well, I have a date, even though I'm not really interested with her, that's why I was hungover. Or maybe that's why I didn't have high energy. Or maybe that's why, you know, I'm tired today. I don't, I, I just, you know, I didn't get good sleep. It wasn't, I didn't get good sleep, why? It was just, I didn't get good sleep. I, I never del hard delved, dove, whatever word you want to use, into why. That's the thing, is that we, we, don't, we don't express why a relationship's not working out, or, or I'm gonna talk about this year, which was business. I never said consistently, I should be making a certain amount of income, or consistently, I should be getting a certain amount of business. I never, I never, I, I just heard real estate is inconsistent. So let's talk about health. The first thing with health is you have to understand where's my energy right now? Why, why does Charles have unlimited energy? You know, like what does he do? Is it something outside of himself? Is it just genetics, which is a fantastic way to push off, well, you know what? I don't even actually need to get this handled because this is who I am. I'm just, I'm just this way. I was born this way. Yes, some portion, they actually have it as low as 4% is genetics. And they say that you actually turn on or off those genes based on what you do. So in other words, it's known as a gene expression. So if you turn on the gene of eating or drinking way too much and diabetes or alcoholism rolls in your family and you drink a lot, you're probably gonna be an alcoholic. But if you contain your alcoholism, you turn off the gene expression of say alcoholism. Whether that's true or not, I like to think it's true because to be honest, there is no indicator, there, there's no benefit. This, this is the best way to think about it, is that mother nature is brilliant. She would not tell you to be an alcoholic because there's no benefit in nature. You're hungover, it's poison, it doesn't taste good naturally, and you're hung, it, it's just, there, there's no benefit to actually surviving. There's two ways to be on this earth, to survive and to replicate. And alcoholism or diabetes or bad food or being lethargic or having a bad mindset is not conducive to surviving and it is not making you the best mate, which is all about reproducing. 2017, I said, I gotta get this handled. It took me a full year. I've been talking about, you have a theme for the year, 2017, it was health. 2018 rolls around, I said, you know what, this is a little uh, not consistent on business, you know, I, I, as you grow older, obviously your, your, your money or your overhead increases, insurance cost, uh, just lifestyle in general, maybe food, going out, dinners, clothing, just gym memberships, everything just taxes, just everything just starts increasing. And the thing is, if you're not keeping up with that increase, especially in real estate, which is you're an independent contractor, guess what, you're fucked. So really what this is 
all about is that change starts with you. It starts with you. It's not the government, it's not your spouse, it's not the family you grew up in or the area you grew up in. And the reason being is that they say, well, Charles, easy for you to say you grew up in New York City. I'm not saying not to be grateful. I'm not saying not to be blessed. However, when you actually travel, when you actually talk to as many people as I do, you actually start understanding, holy shit, this person came from a bad country, first world country, second world country, and they came over here and they made a ridiculous amount of money or they started a family and they're really happy. And that's the thing, is that it starts with you because that person, whatever country they came into, they came from last night. Here's an example. Taiwanese, first, in, first generation, grew up dirt poor. They are buying all cash their daughter an apartment. New York City is not cheap. We have another guy. He's also from Asia. I don't know what, what um, he's also buying cash. Someone they didn't grow up with money. And, and I'm, listen, you can take it how it is, but you have to understand that when you start rolling back and you start taking accountability, not only for where you grew up, and everyone has their shit. Okay, I had my shit, what did I blame it on? I blamed it on that I was lower middle class when I grew up, or middle class, I should say. I grew up that I uh, didn't go to a good school. That's why I wasn't smart, I didn't go to a good school. Yet, I went to a really good high school. I, I blamed it on that my friend group didn't have massive amounts of money like I saw on TV. Or I, I, I blamed it on, say, my lack of energy on the food options that are available in my neighborhood. Uh, the reason I don't have money is endless excuses. Endless excuses until I started actually reading about changing. And then when you start reading about changing, you have to actually, that's why people don't want to change. Because it's all about accountability. The accountability is not easy. The accountability is really taking inventory of, oh shit, maybe it's me. Maybe it's my mindset. Maybe it's not my boss or my career or my area, my location or the transportation. Maybe I actually left my office and was late to that appointment, not because of the transportation. Maybe it was a little late, but I didn't actually say, what if it is late? That's the smallest thing. You know, uh, Tom Bayou, Bayou, however you say his name, literally said, and by the way, when I grew up, the opportunity that my parents gave me was all in my mindset. They said, yeah, your friends have a car, but that doesn't really matter because when you are grateful for small things like food on the table, roof over your head, clothing on your back, they came from a, a totally different mindset because their grandparents went through the Great Depression where it was 40% unemployment. Listen, all right, I'm gonna end it here. And the reason being is that change starts with you because if I gave you all about the habits, if we don't understand that change starts with you, business, this is the last thing I'll, I'll actually talk about. So 2008, uh, 2000, end of 2017 rolls around and you're in real estate, you're an independent contractor, this is your income. Honestly, the biggest thing you have to understand is that it doesn't need to be like this. You can have a great baseline of increasing based on what you do. I took inventory. Do you prospect daily? No, you don't, Charles. Do you reach out daily? No, you don't. Do you follow up? No. Do you ask for the ask? No. That's hard. That's saying that you're not doing what you should do. That, that's the harsh truth. That's the harsh reality that people don't want to suck it up buttercup and just say, well, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's the decisions I'm doing, the systems I have in place, the person I'm dating, the career I chose. Maybe I gotta make a change. It all starts with you. I hope this helps a little bit because to be honest, for me, now I know that there's gonna be a ridiculously tough time. Here's the last example is that relationships, okay? I was on the dating apps. I noticed that there's probably millions of people in New York City on the dating apps. And I noticed that I, I'm passing people that I wanna talk to. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working out with girls that I want to talk to. So I'm like, you know what? I have to get rid of that. And I knew that in the first period of an entire hockey game, it's going to be tough. But you have to play for the whole second and third. Because you're not going to get a win just by scoring 10 goals if they score 20 by the end of the game. In other words, it's going to be really hard changing you got to play for the long term. Long term. All right, so I'm out. Have an amazing day. If you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. It all starts with you. It all starts with you. 
It all starts and ends with you because nobody cares about your change more than you do. Your parents don't, your friends don't, society doesn't. And to be honest, most of the time is because they have their own shit to worry about. They do care about you, but they understand that biologically, they have to care about themselves first before they can handle anything else. So have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon.